Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today's lesson is how to make something fall when hit multiple times. As usual on your watch, go to home, then backpack and bring out your maker pen. Let me show you examples of what you can do with this mechanism. I'm gonna use one of my inventions for this. When you select your object, you will see that its pivot point might not be in the correct place, like this. Click on Edit, then click on the object to go into Edit Mode. Select all parts of the object. When all got selected, press on Move and move your object up if you want the pivot point to be down. Look, the pivot point is in the correct place now for my tree. When you press done and click on move again, you will be able to move the whole object with a pivot point. Now we are going to configure our tree. Make sure it is tagged with the correct word. In this case, it's tree one. And then the can modify with circuits is toggled on. Let's clone our object now. I'm gonna set their position now how I want them to be in each stage when a player touches the trigger volume. We're gonna configure all trees now, giving them tags as tree 2, 3 and 4. And since we cloned the objects, they are already environmental and are modified with circuits. Select the second, third and fourth subjects, then move them underground or somewhere away. Now go where you place the object and search for Rec Room Objects, get first with tag. Press Configure and add the tag Tree 2 or Object 2 to the chip, then search for Get Position. Now connect the object to the target port and you will be able to see the coordinates of the tree's position. Bring out the vector free create where we can put the coordinates into. Let's see what chips we need. Now 
give them each different tags such as tree1, tree2 and so on. Now let's connect everything. If you don't have enough input, just configure the list create and add input twice, three times, how many times you need it. Connect the yellow port of the trigger volume to the origin of the get closest chip, the player enters to the int variable execute, then the list of the list create chip to the target of the get closest chip. Let's clone the list get element chip, we need two of them. Connect the list of list create chip to both list get elements list port. Connect the left green port of the int variable to the closest index. The closest goes to the get positions target and to the get rotation target. The right green port of the int variable goes to the add value. Add sum will go to the modulo value. The remainder goes to the index and again the right green port goes to the other index of the list get element. Let's configure the add chip to 1 to add one extra when the trigger volume is touched. Then we configure the modulo to 4 representing the 4 trees. And now we connect everything. Look closely and slow the video down if you need to. Now let's see what we have done, Tara. Every time you touch the trigger zone, the tree will fall one position. Thank you for being here with us today. See you in the next video.